Hello everybody, my name is Pantsface and welcome to another Old War boss guide. Today's video is about Kolagarn. While he is a seemingly easy boss, parsing can be quite tricky as your uptime on the boss depends on how your raid approaches the fight. This video took longer to make because I wanted to get a good pull on my priest, but of course for the last two weeks I've been gripped by the right arm which absolutely tanks your parse. So I hope you have better luck than I did when you're trying to parse. Anyway, let's get into it. First up, let's talk Kolagarn's abilities and what your raids can do to minimize the effect that these are going to have on your DPS. First up is his right arm. This can grab you and that's what's really going to ruin your parse as I mentioned in the opener. The arm needs to take damage to release the gripped players, but I'll talk about that in the fight section. His left arm does a shockwave, which doesn't really do a whole lot of damage, and his body has two abilities. One will silence everybody in melee range, so you need to make sure you're not too close to the boss. The other is eye beam, which will follow somebody and deal a moderate amount of damage over time. Now, whenever an arm dies, the body takes 15% damage and five rubble spawn. The rubbles do AoE damage, but they don't count towards your parse, so you can ignore them and just let them die to passive cleave. So what's the strategy here? First of all, the worst ability is Stone Grip. When this happens, those people need to be freed immediately. Even if you're not the person gripped, this is going to hurt your race DPS because three people are now picked up and they cannot DPS. We also wanna make sure that the right arm is the first arm that we kill in this fight. Now remember that an arm deals 15% damage to Kologarn once it dies. So with a combination of AoE and single target during Stone Grip, we want to make sure that the right arm dies when the body is around 50% HP. Then a tank can pick up the adds afterwards. The reason we want the arm to die when the body is at 50% HP is because it will immediately go down to 35%. Once that happens, you continue to focus on the body with some small cleave on the left arm. Once the body gets to around 20% HP, you will finish off the left arm, which then brings the body down to 5%, and you just kill him from there. The whole point is to make sure that one, the arms don't respawn because we don't want to deal with them a second time, and two is to maximize our AoE damage while also minimizing the amount of time that the right arm is spent gripping people because that's going to hurt your rage DPS and then of course whoever gets picked up. All right, now let's talk about what you specifically should do to parse on this fight. So when the fight starts, you want to run into be about in the middle of the arena. Dot up each of the arms and the body, and then use Mindseer on the body. The reason we do this is because we will hit both arms with Mindseer, and Mindseer is stronger than Mind Flight when it hits at least two targets. So it's the same thing as Phase 4 Memoron. The fact that we can hit two targets with Mindseer makes it more DPS than using Mind Flight. This is also beneficial because once the first Stone Grip happens and Kologarn picks up three of your Raiders, you will already be damaging the arm with Mindseer and Dots, so you can just keep doing what you're doing. So, you apply dots, you mind sear off the body, you stop mind searing to reapply your dots, and then you just keep doing that until one of the arm dies, which should be the right arm. That should die around the time that Kologarn has 50% HP. After the right arm dies, keep maintaining dots on the body and on the left arm, and then single target the body. Eventually you will kill the left arm, but you don't want to do that too soon. Doing it too soon will lead to your raid taking a lot of AoE damage since both arms will be dead. The other issue is that you'll have additional rubbles that spawn that your raid needs to deal with. So you want to line up killing the left arm with when Kologarn will have only a few percent of his HP left. So you're maintaining your dots, you're single targeting the body, and then the left arm should die when the body is around 20% HP. This will immediately bring the body to 5% HP and then you finish him off. This strategy allows you to maximize your time AoEing, but also minimize the amount of time that you'll have to deal with stone grip. This fight can be extremely frustrating to parse on. As I mentioned in the last two weeks, I've gotten gripped by Stone Grip, which just immediately kills any chance I have of parsing. So I hope your luck is better than mine. But anyway, that's all for this guide. Good luck parsing, and I'll see you in the next one.